Do you guys see that? It's moving. There's a chocolate frog in there, and he's trying to get out. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Austin, aka Duck Koala, and welcome back to another video. So, guys, it's happened. It's happening. It's happened. I cannot believe that this freaking got announced. I, I am absolutely losing my mind, and I'm just so freaking excited. So, in case you guys may or may not know, so about a year ago, maybe like a year, like three months ago, or whatever, like that, a company by the name of Niantic actually released a huge mobile game by the name of Pokemon Go. It was really, really popular for about a good two months. And then it just like fell off and no one really like played it anymore. It came as fast as it, it left as fast as it came. So, I mean, I, I was always like a really, really big Pokemon fan. Like I always, you know, watched the TV series. I always played like the DS games and everything. I, I spent way too much time on Pokemon Silver and Emerald as a kid. I never played the card game, but I had like the cards and everything. So I was always like a really, really big Pokemon fan, you know, don't get me wrong. So I loved Pokemon Go whenever it came out. Like I literally spent money and went to places like I drove like hours to like go to places to like you know find nests and everything I spent money for like in-game like currency for like items and stuff like that so I mean I loved Pokemon Go I thought it was freaking awesome now something a lot of you may or may not know about me is I am probably the one of the biggest if not the biggest Harry Potter snob you'll ever meet in your life so the company Niantic has announced Harry Potter Wizards Unite and I cannot contain my excitement i am so freaking excited dude like i cannot tell you guys how excited i am for this freaking game in case you guys didn't know i'm excited so we're gonna go ahead and just take a peek real quick right here on the pottermore website so we're right here and now if we actually go right here it says port key games to release new games inspired by jk rowling wizarding world and then now let's go ahead and just read this right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just go through. So Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment are releasing a series of mobile and console game experiences under new label port key games. So not only are they releasing it to mobile, they're also doing console games? I wonder if it's gonna come out on PC. It says you will soon be able to explore the wizarding world through a series of new mobile and console games. And you know we love any excuse to feel like actual proper wizards. So named because port keys transfer wizards from place to place. Port key games will give Harry Potter fans the chance to be transported into the wizarding world and placed at the center of their own adventure. The games will vary from mobile to console games and will feature both new characters and excitingly could feature familiar characters at different points in their lives from the Harry Potter stories. As well as the familiar, you'll also be able to visit new locations and explore new story elements again, all inspired by the wizarding world. David Headad, president of Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment, says he is thrilled by the new launch in the games to come. With Port Key Games, we are thrilled to answer the fans' requests for more games inspired by J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. He says, We are working with talented creators to build games that focus on player-generated stories, which will live alongside the magical universe created by J.K. Rowling. Alas, this is all we can say for now, but we'll be updating you on more Port Key developments very soon. Really soon, actually. So that just gets me so freaking excited. Whenever it says really soon, actually, it's like, it's it's literally Harry Potter Go. It's literally Harry Potter Go. It's an augmented reality game. So that means it's going to be like interactive and everything. So like, you know in Pokemon Go, whenever you actually like, you have AR version, like you have AR vision and then you have like regular vision. Like basically AR vision is like you sitting there, you're holding your phone up and like the Pokemon is like, in like your room with you or he's like in your car or like whatever like it's, it's an augmented reality man it's becoming a thing well it's augmented reality for harry potter so like you're gonna be like walking around there's gonna be freaking dementors you're gonna have dobby like walking around with you. you're gonna have like headwind chi chilling on your shoulder and stuff you get to go ride the hogwarts express and everything dude i cannot contain my excitement i mean i already have like my train ticket like i already got my ticket to hogwarts like can we can we just hop on board can we go oh oh that's not enough you need money from gringotts well guess what i have a 10 note dollar bill from gringotts bank i'm ready to go boy let's go I always knew that my mom was holding out on me. I always knew that I was a wizard. My mom never gave me my letter, and I know that I was supposed to go to Hogwarts, man. Like, I just don't belong here. I just don't belong in this place. I belong at the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I don't care what anybody says. That's where I belong. Like, guys, y you don't really... I don't think you guys fully understand, like, my obsession with Harry Potter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys, like, a quick, like, just view of my room real fast. Let let's go ahead and go take a look at that real fast. So this right here is like where like my you know my filming stuff and everything is, but then 
boom, right above my computers, I have my Hogwarts, I have the Marauders map and everything. I had it folded out just a little bit. You can actually like see some stuff and everything. And what's really, really cool is this thing can actually like fold out even more. It's like a full on map, but I wanted to throw it in like a little frame so I don't have it like fully folded out and everything. And then right above that, bam, I have all of my Harry Potter Funko Pops. So here we have Hagrid. I have a couple of Harrys, Ron, you know, got, you know, a bunch of other stuff and everything. Uh, we have the Birdie Bots, Every Flavor Beans. We have a Slytherin Cup. I have these special edition Harry Potter books that have Hogwarts on the side and everything. Uh, I have a Basilisk book and I have two chocolate frogs and then I have Hogwarts on a little crystal right there and then down over here I have some pumpkin juice I have a Voldemort and Victor Crumb's wand and then I have like the Triwizard Champion tournament cup thing right there and then right here we have our baby girl Nagini just chilling and then if you actually look right above Nagini bam, we have a dope painting of Hogwarts. It's a water painting, and there's actually only 20 of these. And I remember I ordered it from Etsy a long time ago. Uh, don't remember who painted it. Don't remember the author's name. Don't remember the author's Etsy or whatever. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, this is a dope painting of Hogwarts. I just took a shower, so it's like really, really like, um, I don't know, what is this, foggy? I don't know, I'm sorry. But directly behind me, if you guys see it in the mirror, we have a Harry Potter painting. And then if you guys pan to the left, I have a Harry Potter shower curtain. Yes, guys, I'm telling you, it's absolutely insane. But wait, there's more. So this is something that I've actually been working on for quite some time. I have a bunch of Harry Potter posters and everything on my walls. So if you guys can see, there's like some blank spaces and everything. It's because I'm, I'm still trying to like fill them in. But right here, we have the original Sorcerer's Stone poster and everything right there. We have the uh, original Chamber of Secrets and everything right there. Uh, I need to get the Prisoner of Azkaban one right here. And then right below it, we have the Goblet of Fire. And then right diagonally right over here, we have Order of the Phoenix. Uh, hey, Light, excuse me, yeah, there we go. We got Order of the Phoenix right there. Obviously, I need to put a Half-Blood Prince one right there. And then we gotta get Deathly Hollows ones right there. But uh, yeah, so freaking just massive like Harry Potter posters. Still trying to figure, like complete it and everything, but yeah, there's those as well. Now this next thing I'm gonna show you, probably just in case any of you were wondering what Harry Potter house I was in, here you go. Bam! Yes, I am a Slytherin. Heck yeah, baby, Slytherin squad. Why do I sound really echoey right now? But any hoozles, yeah, I am a, uh, I'm a Slytherin boy. Um, and one of my favorite things about like my bed, other than like the Slytherin blanket, is this pillow right there. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Albus Dumbledore, yes, bitch, yes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Are you guys excited for Harry Potter Wizards Unite? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you a huge Harry Potter fan like me? If you are, I wanna know what Hogwarts house are you in? You guys should probably already know what Hogwarts house I'm in. I mean, I already kind of showed you, but yeah, guys, let me know what Hogwarts house you're in. If you guys made it to this part of the video, you're not a muggle, you're just a filthy mudblood. But once again, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. This has been your boy Austin, AKA Duck Koala. Peace out.